Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of ANSYS APDL. In this session, we are solving a numerical on a beam which is simply supported and it is subjected to uniformly varying load. We will see the procedure for developing the shear force and the bending moment diagram. We will start with preferences, structural, OK, preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, beam, two node, OK, and close this. Next, I will go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, I will give the value of Young's modulus as 2E5 and the value of Poisson's ratio as 0 0.3. Okay. Next, I will go to sections, beam, common sections. I will give the breadth as 20 and the height as 20. Okay. Then I will go to modeling, create key points in active CS. The first node is at 0, 0. Then I'll go for the second node. Now, when I look at this diagram, I have to plot a UVL. So, we have already seen the procedure. Now, this is a UVL. It's just the orientation is a mirror image here. But it's exactly the same way of solving. So, this length is 6 meter. Maximum intensity of loading is 2 kN per meter. So, I have divided the beam into various elements. And each division is of 2 meters, as you can see. And accordingly, I have calculated that for each element that I have, I am going to have a particular loading for it. So, at 2 meter, 4 meter and 6 meter, I am going to apply this UVL values. So, I am going to draw the beam accordingly. I will give my second node at 2 meter, that is 2000 mm. Then at... 4000 mm, I am plotting my third node and the fourth node is at 6000 mm. So, this is my entire length of the beam that is 6 meter. Next, I will go to lines, lines, straight line. I will draw a straight line here. Okay. Next, I will go to meshing, size controls, manual size, global size. I'll give the number of element divisions as say 10. Okay. Next, I'll go to mesh lines pick all. So, I have meshed the entire beam. Now, I'll go to plot controls, numbering. I want to see the element numbers. Okay. So, I can see a lot of element numbers over here. Now, I'll go to loads, define loads, apply structural displacement on key points. Now, when I look here, at end A, there is a hinge support. At end B, there is a roller support. So, I will go to end B first. Okay. For roller, UY is 0. You can see here, nothing means 0. Apply. Then, I will go to node A. Okay. It is hinge. So, all these values are 0 except for rotation about the z-axis. Okay. So, I have given the hinge and the roller on the beam. Next, I am going to apply the UVL. So, I am going to use pressure on beams. Now, if you look here carefully, there is each beam divided into 10 elements. So, when I talk about the first element, it is here. I have selected from 1 to 10. Now, when I look at this table, for element 1, the loading maximum intensity is 0 0.667. So, obviously, I will have to give... The load key number is 2 and for the first node that is over here the value is 0 and the maximum value is 0 0.667 apply then i'll apply for the second element which will be 11 to 20 because i have given 10 elements okay load key number is 2 for the second element the maximum intensity is 1.333 so here it will start from 0 0.667 and the highest value will be 1.3 333 3, 3. apply and last i will go for 21 to 30 number of elements on the beam okay for this the maximum intensity is 2 here it will be 1.333 till 2 okay so i have applied the uvl on the beam 
नेक्स्ट आई गो टू सोल्यूशन सॉल्व करंट एल एस ओके क्लोज देन आई गो फॉर जनरल पोस्ट प्रोसेसिंग आई वॉन्ट टू सी द एस एफ डी एन बी एन बी डायग्राम सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन एलिमेंट टेबल डिफाइन टेबल एड बाई सीक्वेंस नंबर थ्री अप्लाई बाई सीक्वेंस नंबर सिक्स अप्लाई बाई सीक्वेंस नंबर सिक्सटीन अप्लाई एंड बाई सीक्वेंस नंबर नाइनटीन क्लोज देन आई गो टू प्लॉट रिजल्ट कॉन्ट्रोल प्लॉट लाइन एलिमेंट रेजोल्यूशन आई वॉन्ट टू सी द बी एम डी सो इट इज थ्री एंड सिक्सटीन नंबर टू बी चोजन ओके सो दिस इज माई बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम यू कैन सी द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज एट द सेंटर एंड द मिनिमम वैल्यू इज एट द एंड Now, if you look carefully at the center, this color is red. So, when I look at the red color, the value is 0.459 into 10 raised to 7. Now, this unit is newton mm. As I have drawn the beam in mm, and I was giving the intensity of loading in terms of newton mm. If you look here, this is kilo newton per meter. When you convert this into newton per mm, it is the same value. The value doesn't change. So, I have given a newton and mm. Hence, I have to check here. This can be converted into kilonewton to check with my solution. That is 10 raised to 6 to be divided from this value. So this will become 4.59. When I look here, this is 4.61. So it is correct. Now let's go for the SFD. So I will choose 6 and 19. Okay. So this is how my SFD will look like. Let's look at the solution. This is correct. Uh, one end the value is two kilonewton, and here the value is four kilonewton. So here this blue is minus two point zero seven seven newton, which is minus two kilonewton, and here the red color is showing three point seven two two kilonewton, which is approximately four. So my solution is matching with the numerical or the graphical solution that we have already plotted. Now, apart from this, also if I want to see the deformed shape, so I can see it here. Okay. I want to see the nodal solution, degree of freedom, displacement vector sum, deformed plus undeformed model. Okay, this is how it looks like. And if I want to see the stress on this beam element, one minus stress. Okay, this is how it would look like. If you want to see the listed results, you can go to reaction solution. Okay, from here I can get the F Y value. This is 2.1 kilonewton. And 3.899 kilonewton. So this is correct, approximately two and four. If you look at the diagram, this V A is two and this V B is four. So this answer is correct. Also, if you want to see the nodal loads, you can see from here that is for each node. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of the videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.